sculpting and designing handmade works of art for over 10 years. Kimmy Brown live in West Sacramento learning more about Tuparak design. Did I say that right? So probably when you heard about this, you're thinking, are we going to be watching cement drying, which is not very fun, but it's fascinating to be able to watch Joe put these in these molds for all of these different things that you're making. So what are you working on right now? We are unmolding a scoria air plant base. So we started with the uh, piece that I made from clay to make the actual vessel. And then we made a mold using a liquid silicone. Okay. So we cast this yesterday and we're unmolding it today. And it so. takes about overnight for most things yeah, to dry? Depending on the size of the project, this is smaller. So this probably cure in like eight hours where I can actually unmold it. And then we'll let it cure for a few more hours before we add a little bit of color. So this is another little, this is a moon baby. It's very popular. You put these in your garden. It's like um, from the Japanese culture. And you put it in your garden. And it's supposed to look over kids and... Children and travelers. Oh. The, the Jizo is the name of the Buddha. So he's the protector of children and travelers. And so people will put this in their garden. A lot of expecting mothers. Exactly. And so you are out at a lot of different of the um, farmer's markets. Now let's show back here so people can see. Because you were talking about the... It will be a home for an air plant. These are the yeah. air plants. They're super trendy right now. I love and you even have a mold of the lava rock too. Exactly. Which has fooled... Geologist. So explain that. How did that happen? Geologist and Canby Brown. Yeah, so, I can't. I can't tell the difference. Which one is the <laughs> lava and which one is the cement? I, I keep getting confused. So this here is actually concrete. So I made a mold of lava rock using a liquid latex rubber. It's a really old school way of making molds where you paint on layers, up to 30 layers, depending on how big the mold is. And then after that cures, you peel that off and then you can cast it so I can recreate these. And can, will you grab one of these back here that has the water? Because he also does them with a, a epoxy on it so that their water can be filled in so them. The idea here, this is called wabikusa. It's a style of planting that is common in Japan. So what we'll do is actually cast the planter and then you set it in a dish that holds water so that keeps your humidity That's cool. where you want it and it keeps the plant going and happy. It yeah, keeps them in a wet environment. So it's almost like essentially like a kind of like an indoor little water garden. This is the same idea here. Now we have Marlene the plant lady on the weekend show. Now it's Joe the plant man. Absolutely. And let me show you over here because this is kind of what the setup will look like. It's called Tufa Rock. And this is what we'll, you'll see if you go to any different farmers markets. He's at the Midtown Farmers Market um, every Saturday that they have that. So uh, these are all the different things. You do the cacti, you do the succulents, you do air plants, and then you also just do the um, ones that can go in your garden. What do we call those? Uh, perennials, typically. I work with a lot of perennials, okay. deciduous trees. I like Japanese maple trees. But a like lot. the little Buddha one that you just um, took like out. What's ornament, what is like that? Like a garden ornament. Okay, Something perfect. nice to you know, put in the garden. Some of these I will actually add a little hook in the back so you kind of hang them on the fence. Now, if oh, people like work on the weekends like me mm -hmm. and they can't get on out to those farmers markets, how can they get in touch with you? Uh, TufaRockDesign.com. I have all these items for the most part listed. Uh, you can order online and actually pick them up. The Midtown Farmers Market for free, or I do a ten dollar. The item won't be free, but there'll be no delivery yeah. charge. I charge a ten dollar delivery fee. I was hoping you weren't saying you were going to yeah. mail it because <laughs> some mailing cement would probably be a little costly. You know what? I do mail some items. I try to keep it to the smaller little items, yeah, like these smart. guys, this size. All right, but guys, two for rock. Go check them out. Also on Instagram too, guys. On the Insta, on the Insta. I love the lava rock with yeah. the little uh, succulents. Mm -hmm. So cute. Cool. Cute. Well, it's been quite a busy morning here on Good Day. We don't want you to miss a thing.